New owner of downtown Spokane's Trade Winds Motor Inn flew into town today to check out that property. The iconic motel has been sitting vacant for years now, but it's finally getting a much needed renovation. KXY 4's Alyssa Donovan shows us the project. When you drive past the Trade Winds Motor Inn on 3rd, you might think it's been closed for 20 plus years since it's fallen into such disrepair. But in fact, it's only been closed for four and soon it'll reopen under a new name. It's kind of creepy, but walk inside and... All the artwork stays. Nope, it's creepy in there too. It has a lot of history. Uh, you know, it was the trade winds. The trade winds was iconic. Between the boarded up doors, broken windows, and sunken swimming pool, these guys see something worth saving. This is a prime location, and we want to do something for community. We want to do something for city. We want to achieve something. Last Friday, these developers bought what many describe as an eyesore, even the previous owner. It has been an eyesore, and we're very appreciative of this transaction and these folks coming in. Mark Pinch bought the land with several investors back in the 90s, but didn't gain control of the building on the property until it was too late to save. The building closed in December of 2012. Before it was fenced off, the abandoned inn had been lived in by transients, broken into, and generally destroyed by trespassers. More recently, it was used as a set for zombie show Z Nation, but developers see that it has good bones. It was built with quite a lot of architectural design because it's kind of elliptical in shape, which lends itself to a remodel. And David Malik and his partners are spending big bucks to make that happen. About three million dollars. Luckily, the concrete building passed a structural inspection, so all of that money will be going towards remodeling, redecorating, and rewiring. And yes, they're also getting rid of the tiki theme and the swimming pool. Developers say they're starting on construction next week. And when you drive past in just three short months, Howard Johnson Inn is going to be open for business. Reporting downtown, Alyssa Donovan, KXLY4 News.